Hey everyone, it's Tom from Velocities and Music, just doing a little late night schedule work and wanted to let you know what the next couple weeks schedule is going to be and how you can get involved because it is request mania. There's going to be so much stuff for you guys to vote on and I'm really excited to get everyone involved um, with picking what we get to listen to and what you get to hear us review. So, uh, without further ado, uh, we're going to have four 2011 albums on the next schedule. Um, Boney Vare, self-titled. Owl City's All Things Bright and Beautiful. <laughs> We're not really big Owl City fans, but we want to give them a fair chance. A lot of people want us to review Ocean Eyes, and we never got around to it, so I'm going to give them a chance now. The third 2011 2011 album we're going to review is Handsome Furs Sound Capital Capital. I don't really know how it's pronounced. It has a K on it, so whatever. Um, fourth album is going to be Heidecker and Woods Starting from Nowhere. That's Tim Heidecker from Tim and Eric Awesome Show. Great job, which Jake and I are huge fans of, so we're excited about that one. There have been some people really hounding us to review that album and we finally have time for it, so thank you for getting on our cases about it, because we actually really do appreciate it. Uh, we've been wanting to get to that one. Um, now there's going to be four albums, four sets of albums you're going to be voting on. Um, first is going to be an early 80s Rush album. That's between Permanent Waves, Moving Pictures, and Signals. We feel like that is really a peak in Rush's career. Those albums all came out in a row and they were fantastic, all of them, so pick which one you'd like for us to, to review. Um, the next voting slot is you're going to vote on a prog metal album, and that's between Baroness's Blue Record and Animals' as Leaders Self-Titled, uh, both of which are albums that I've kind of skimmed through and, and seems like something I'll really enjoy, so I, I don't feel like I'm going to go wrong with either of those picks, but you know, I'll pick between those two. Um, the next one is Iron and Wine, uh, just any Iron and Wine album, as long as it's not uh, Kiss Each Other Clean, which we already reviewed. But I've got Creek Drank the Cradle, Our Endless Number of Days, and The Shepherd's Dog on there. We had a really great written request on our website um, for, I believe, Creek Drank the Cradle. And a discussion started going between some gentlemen about, you know, which one's better. And it's, it's great because it's just the kind of thing that, that Velocities and Music is about, creating music discussion. And these guys were really cool about it. And I, I never jumped into the conversation, but I've been keeping up on what they've been saying. And I, I just love it. I love how enthusiastic they are. So we're like, you know what? Uh, instead of picking sides in this little debate they had going, let's just put those three Iron Wine albums and let the majority decide. So thank you to you guys for, for getting that going. And then the last album that you will vote on is a classic 90s throwback. And that's between Green Day's Dookie and Rage Against the Machine's Battle of Los Angeles, two huge albums from the 90s. Now, I, I know we're doing lots more voting here than we usually do, but Jake and Ian and I got together tonight and looked at kind of the upcoming release schedule um, you know, checked out Metacritic, NPR, tried to see what some people have been telling us about. And, and to tell you the truth, there's just not a lot coming out in the next couple weeks that we're that excited about. Um, so we figure, you know, while that's a little disappointing, it also gives us an opportunity um, to have you be more a part of things and to honor some backed up requests uh, from 2011 and earlier that we just haven't had a chance to honor. So that's really great because we really appreciate all the involvement we've gotten from you viewers and fans out there. It, it really makes this possible and worthwhile for us. So uh, to be able to have a chance to kind of give back and finally give you guys what you've been wanting makes us really happy. Um, so, you know, over the next couple weeks, if you find that some of those reviews that we kind of overlooked, um, or albums that we kind of overlooked end up being really good, please tell us about them, and we'll probably do them in the future. Um, but just right now, what we're not perfect at guessing what we're going to like, so instead we just go back to older stuff. Now for the two request slots, uh, the written request, this is one that's been on our website for a while that I've been wanting to get to, is Caius, Blues for the Red Sun. Um, so whoever wrote the request for that, you know, we'll make sure to dedicate the episode to you, and uh, I'm pumped to listen to that one. Now for the album riddle request, here are the two album riddles. Don't forget, uh, please don't respond and, and give me your answers in a comment on this video or respond on Facebook or Twitter. Please send us a, a personal message on YouTube or an email. 
Our email is velocitiesandmusic at gmail.com, or if you go to our website, velocitiesandmusic.com, there's a little email sidebar form um, that you can go ahead and fill out and it'll get to us. And the reason we do that is because you have to get both album riddles correct in order to win. Um, and we don't want people just giving us one and then being wrong about the other and people, other people seeing that answer. It just makes it easier for us. So the album riddles are as follows. Number one, I don't know how big they really are, but they sure didn't make it to the moon with this album. You might have to know a little American history for that, but if you use Google enough, I'm sure you'll find it. And the second one, I turned out the lights and put the ruffles in the microwave. Also be putting the album riddles on Twitter and Facebook um, so that people can have access to them. But there they are. Good luck. I hope they're not too extremely difficult or too extremely easy. It's kind of hard for me to gauge. But uh, yeah, good luck. Thanks a lot for your involvement with everything. I really appreciate it. I will put a link to the uh, survey that you can vote on down in the drop box below. And uh, please vote, get involved, let us know what you think. Thanks, guys. We really appreciate it.